Tip number 42. Create assembly drawings, documents describing where each component is located on PCB. I'm going to explain. Uh, everybody, you know, when, when we were starting with the, the PCB layout and the board design, the, the PCBs, they used to be simple. So normally you can place uh, all the reference designators, you know, the C1, C2, C3, U1, U2, U3, this kind of stuff, you can place it directly on the PCB, on the seal screen of the PCB. But uh, sooner or later, you start designing the boards, more complex boards, and there is less and less space. And uh, there will be time when you will be looking on your PCB and thinking, huh, where I'm going to place this U1 designator or R124 designator, because there will be no space. And I'm speaking about this because I actually received quite uh, a lot of emails, people asking how I, uh, you know, when, when there is no space, place this designator, how I do it. This is what we do. We create special document, which is called assembly drawing. It's a very simple document where you just draw outline of uh, the component and we place the designator inside the component. So when, for example, in assembly house, when they are building your boards, when they are placing the components on the board, they usually use this kind of document to see and to check position of every component. Many times even you can use it uh, during the debugging or during testing to find particular components on your PCB. We don't do it on only in this black and white. We do also something like this because this is even more useful where we include the top and bottom layer so you can uh, you can follow the tracks you can uh, see the vias and it's easier to find the components have a look yeah. here for example if we only place all the information directly on the seal screen how it would look here it would not be possible or it would not be nice then it would not be clear which component is which so we have to create the special document describing the component position you can also add more information into these documents very often you place their information about soldering like you can see here yeah you can create some details of uh, the pcb and describe placement and this kind of stuff and in Altium, it's very simple also to generate, uh, for example, or add information about what components are fitted or and which are not fitted. So again, when you have a look on your PCB and when you have a look on the document, you can very nicely compare if everything is fitted correctly. These are not fitted, the red components. If uh, your software is not supporting this, uh, uh, if, not, if it's not supporting direct generation of these kind of documents. You can use uh, some three-party softwares like this one. This is what we used in my previous job. The Blueprint PCB from Downstream Technologies looks like this. You just upload information about your PCB into the software and it creates the drawings automatically. And also uh, if you are using Altium you probably know they created this new feature, they call it PCB Draftsman, it looks like this. I uh, I tried it, I don't use it, because there are some things what uh, I'm waiting they will improve. We still use just the job files to generate it. But this video is not about the, the direct implementation of or creating the assembly drawings in individual software. This tip is just to show you what you should be looking for yeah so if you don't have space on your pcb or even if you if you have the space on your pcb you still may want to create these assembly drawings because this is a part of the professional documentation when you are manufacturing pcbs the 
assembly drawing with information where each component on the PCB is located. Tip number 42, create assembly drawings, documents describing where each component is located on PCB. Why? Very often this is used during board assembly and it is very useful during component debugging. Tip 